Hello, my name is Jerry Bent with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will cover how to remove an existing ACD from a call management system or CMS. First, I'll cover some details about removing an ACD from CMS, and then I will demo how it's done. ACD stands for Automatic Call Distribution. For CMS, this term corresponds to the call center ACD functionality on a single CM or communication manager switch connected to a CMS. So each ACD on a CMS corresponds to a connection to one CM switch. You will use the CMS ADM utility to remove an existing ACD from a CMS system. This utility is located in the slash user slash bin directory. Also, you must be logged in as a root level user to run the CMS ADM utility. Before you can remove an ACD, you must first turn off the CMS software. This is also done via the CMS ADM utility. It is important to note that all administration and historical data for the ACD will be deleted from the database when it is removed. So any reports needed should be printed or saved before the removal. Also, one ACD is configured as the master ACD in CMS. Before removing the master ACD, you must first designate another ACD as the master. To change the master ACD, go to the CMS main menu and select System Setup, then CMS State. You can find this procedure in the CMS Software Installation maintenance, and troubleshooting document on support.avaya.com. Now I will begin the demo on how to remove an existing ACD. For this demo, I am logged into a lab CMS as a root level user. Before removing an ACD, you must first turn off the CMS software. Use the CMS ADM utility to do this. The CMS administration menu displays. Enter the number for the run underscore CMS option. It is number eight in this system. Three options will display. Enter the number to turn off CMS, but leave IDS running. In this case, it is option two. The utility notifies users of the impending shutdown then it turns off the CMS software and exits back to the root prompt. Now to remove an ACD, enter CMS ADM again. Enter the number for ACD underscore remove. It's number two in this system. Remember, if you want to remove the master ACD, you must first designate a new ACD as the master. You would do this using System Setup and then CMS State from the CMS main menu. The ACD I am going to remove is not the master, so I will not need to change the master ACD. Enter the number that corresponds to the ACD that you want to remove. Even though eight ACDs exist on this system, only seven show up in the list. That's because the utility will not allow removal of the master ACD. So I'll enter seven to remove the switch eight ACD. 
A confirmation message displays stating that all administration and historical data for this ACD will be deleted. You need to enter Y to continue with the removal or N to abort. I will enter Y. The system displays a message that the ACD removal is started in the background. When it is complete, a message will be logged in the admin.log file. Since the ACD removal happens in the background, you can turn the CMS software back on before the removal is complete. To do this, enter CMS ADM. Select the Run CMS option. Then enter the number to turn CMS on, which is number 1. The CMS software will be initialized. When CMS is up, the CMS ADM utility will exit back to the root prompt. Now to verify that the ACD removal was successful, change to the slash CMS slash install slash logder directory. Then vi or tail admin.log. Once the removal completes, you will see a removal of ACD successful message in the log. If there was a lot of data for this ACD, it could take a while for this message to show up. You can rerun the tail command to continue checking. This concludes the demo on how to remove an existing ACD from CMS. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.